Settle down. Please. <laughs> don't, they don't want to hear you speak, you see. They probably like you to sing again, but I mean, I know you can talk. And look at you. This yeah. is the filthy rich look. No, I was going to say, you could easily <laughs> double for Sir Thomas More in that. <laughs> apart, from the, apart from that in the middle there. The Mercedes Benz, yeah, yeah. I know. Well, did, I mean, me. did you make that yourself? Oh, no, of course not. <laughs> oh. <laughs> look at it, it's terrific. You've gone into gold, obviously. Yeah. You've, you've liquidised all your ashes and gone into well, gold. This is all very cheap stuff. I mean, you know, what I do, what I try to do is wear things that, you know, my fans can copy, you know. Yeah. I mean, I just wear junk. <laughs> <laughs> What was that? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about this, this record. It's, it's a slight change of pace for you, isn't it, from what you've been doing? Well, yeah, it's a sort of bluesy ballad, you know. It's, um, I, I suppose it's a Christmas record, if you like. You know. You're it's going always... for the Christmas chant? Well, you know, I just hope to have a hit, really. <laughs> one way or the other. Well, the last time we chatted and the last time you sang on, on this show for me, mm -hmm. you had a number one, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it'll do it again. I hope so. You look very well. You've, you've put on a lot of weight, obviously. Yeah, I'm, an, I'm what you call an all-round I mean, I mean entertainer. That, I mean that as a compliment. <laughs> you, because you have gone through your thin days, but you look... Yeah. You, I mean, is weight a problem with you? No, no. You know, as I said before, I'm an all-round entertainer. You yeah. know, I love it. Yeah. But, I mean, you know, I've actually got a fat skeleton. Yeah. Yes, that's <laughs> the truth. Yeah, no, that's my, that's my <laughs> excuse as well. I mean, there, was, there were stories about you going off to a health club uh, to, to slim oh, I know. down. No, I actually went there for my, my mental health. Hmm. <laughs> no, that could get really complicated. Yes, it is, yeah, no. <laughs> no, I just went there for a rest, really, you know, from like all the sort of, you know, because I was working very hard earlier in the year. So I just went off to It's a great place to go and have a rest, the whole farm, you know, because you can just like, I mean, the sort of idea of being a slob is quite nice, isn't it, for a while? Oh, God, this is the story yeah, so. of my life. <laughs> do, you have to, do you have to watch what you eat or not? Not really. It's just that my, my dad, right, is like, he was an army cook, my dad. So, like, when he cooks food, he cooks for, like, 50 people, even though there's three people eating. Yeah. You know, so it's just, yeah. you know, one of those things. Yeah, but you've always been a big fella anyway. You're a, yeah. you're a large I'm, I'm a big I'm a big boy. Yes, you I've got this fabulous... I've got this... I just, <laughs> <laughs> that struck a nerve. I got this fabulous badge and it says, the bigger they are, the harder they hit. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, tell me, do you miss, do you miss the, the old band at all? Or have you, I, the solo career, have you settled to that now? Well, you know, obviously you do get lonely, you know, because, I mean, when you've been in a band for, like, four years, I mean, mm. it, doesn't, it doesn't sound very long, but it's like a sort of, you know, weird marriage. And I do miss them, you know, but I, I still see the rest of Culture Club, despite what you read in the papers. I do see them and I'm very friendly with them and it's great, you know. And they're all doing their own things now, which is great. But, I mean, I'm actually just about to go on a tour of Europe, so, you know, I'm sort of concentrating on my solo thing at the moment. That'll be one way to lose weight, anyway. <laughs> yes. Good. We're getting a kind of sneak preview of one of the outfits. Here. Yeah, this is my opening outfit. Very nice. We're on a tour. <laughs> now, don't go. Will you, will you hang on and stay with us for a while? Yeah. Good, because yeah. there is somebody I'm sure you want to meet. My final guest tonight was a bit of a, I suppose, a boy George in his day. He was a bit of a blue mink, anyway. You dangle past me there. <laughs> <laughs> but he gave up singing songs to write songs. And with Roger Greenaway, created, after Lennon and McCartney, what's been regarded as the most successful songwriting team in the world. A thousand songs, 70 hits. He's living in Nashville now. We're glad to welcome him back. Roger Cook. <laughs> little ukulele in your hand there. Actually, it means never wash a guitar. <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth. What is that? What's that? A banjolele? A no, this is a ukulele. Yeah. I think it's the only one in the world that's got a cutaway. I had it made for me. Yes, yeah, Makes me did. feel like a rock star, you know? Yeah. What's a ukulele sound? Give us a burst, good old George for me. <laughs> well, it sounds better when it's in tune. <laughs> but you're supposed to strum it, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> little ukulele hey, 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 just like that laugh. Yes. Yeah. Go on. Of course, if it's in tune, it sounds wonderful. You've got to take my word for it. <laughs> I met you with, uh, in the old days, oh, bless us, and I was a boy, old broad, boy broadcaster. When you were with Roger Greenaway and you were a singing duo as well as, a, as well as an enormously successful songwriting duo. David and Jonathan, yes. David and Jonathan. They were good days. They were happy days. And there were days in which you, you couldn't seem to go wrong. Everything you wrote was a hit. Just about, for a while, yeah. yeah. Lovely stuff. I loved the money. <laughs> Tell me all. The money and the fame is wonderful, yeah. And, and then you, you joined up, uh, you, you formed a group called Blue Mink. I didn't form it, I was Did invited you? into the band. With and, Madeline uh, Bell? Yes. 
And, and Barry Morgan. Barry Morgan. Barry Morgan's our drummer here, you know. We have him done. We keep him on a chain. Still getting work, Barry. You're fired. <laughs> You're fired, Barry. On a chain down in the basement. We throw raw meat to him every so often. He deserves it. Yeah. You, you, you remember Blooming. Well, actually, I actually did a cover of Melting Pot, which is one of my favorite songs. I know, songs which I love, man. Yeah. Listen, I've got to tell you a story. You, you appeared in Nashville, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. My little girl, Katie, went with her mum. And it got to when you sang, and she started crying. She said, I'm so proud of my daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I was full of bits, I was a star. But that song was, I mean, you know, because, I mean, as pop songs go, you know, it's very difficult to write a good pop song with a real good meaning. And that song was, like, such a fierce song. It was a little ambitious at the time, yeah. That yeah, was great. Actually, Thanks, I actually Thanks, bumped mate. into Madeline Bell a couple of weeks ago, and I was here on the TV singing, was it? Cook, cookability, that's the beauty that's of That's Madeline Bell, is it? <laughs> it is, I'm sure it is, yeah. yeah. yeah that is Madeline. <laughs> yeah, it is. We're yeah, members of the gas board with us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, carry on as if I'm daunted. It was, it was, was Melting it? Pot. Melting Pot, yeah. Song, which was a plea. Would like to hear a little bit of it? Racial equality. Have you tuned up the old UK? No, not really. Ah, oh, that's awful. Never mind. Take a pinch. Oh, I'll get it in the right key. All right, Jim. Sorry, Harry. We've got loads of time. Take a pinch of white man. Wrap it up in black skin. Oh, yeah. Then you add a touch of blue blood. And a little bitty bit of red Indian boy. Too, too high for me. <laughs> Come on, Madeline. <laughs> too high for the ukulele. Yeah. Melton. Oh. I think we've had enough of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. were, your, were your favorite songs always the most successful? Or did you have things that you thought, I wish that had been a hit because I loved it? I mean, had you any real idea what was going to be a hit and what wasn't? Uh, fun enough, at times you did and at other times you didn't. I really couldn't see the success of I'd Like to Teach the World to Sing, not in a million years. Well, this the, that the turned out to be the biggest one, really, in a way. Well, yeah, and it, apparently they, st they still sing that in American schools. It's a kind of, it's this kind of school... Well, do you know what they do to it in America? This is the honest truth. They sing, um... Amazing grace, how sweet the sound Save the wretch like me <laughs> Once I was... Whatever it was. But they well, sing the words of Amazing it. Grace. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> mate. <laughs> because you, you sang, you sang numbers of your own songs as David and Jonathan, but in the main, the successes were for other people. It was it? for other people, Did yeah. you write them specifically for other people? Would you write for, say, Boy George, if he'd been around then? Oh, you bet your life. I love that new song, by the way. Thank you. I think that's a smash. Thank you. I think probably everybody here agrees with you, but they're, they're too bad. <laughs> Well, what I tend to do is I'll write a song, then once I've got the song, if it reminds me of somebody in particular, any kind of artist, then I'll sit down and try and demo it that way. Yeah. That's what I did with Don Williams with a lot of success in America, you know. Yeah. But you gave it up, you see. You gave up the performing yourself. Why was that? It got kind of boring. It really did. Uh, I had the family and I wasn't seeing much of my family. And living out of a suitcase from hotel to hotel, it was clubs in those days, all the, you know, the Wakefield Theatre mm -hmm. Club and the Batley Variety Club and that. And it got really, it got down. It just got awful. There were six of us trying to rush around like one person, you know, and it didn't really work after about five years. Yeah. You couldn't give up performing, could you? Not at, at all, no. My whole life is a performance. <laughs> all right, entertainment. <laughs> you know what I always say is life, is life is one big rehearsal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but when's the show? I don't know. <laughs> I, I told you, you I was psychic. <laughs> <laughs> Discerning music lover. <laughs> <laughs> the ghost of old singers here. Making well, light of it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But when you writing, you write most of your own stuff as well, don't yeah, you? I mean, yeah. would you? Would you ever write for anybody else? Well, I actually did write a song once for the Beach Boys, Shock Gasparra, but they, was, <laughs> they really freaked me out. They were so mad, sorry. But they all had psychiatrists, and I just found it a bit unnerving. <laughs> I was like, I thought, I might end up like that one day. Never. But, I mean, I actually worked with them, which was quite... I mean, it was quite an accolade at the time. That's you know? wonderful, yeah. But, I mean, I, I'd, I'd love to write for other people, you know, but, I mean, I never get asked. <laughs> well, I suppose they figure that you're writing your own stuff, and I mean, maybe that was nobody had ever written for you when you were teaming up with with Greenaway. So your accent's extraordinary. It's a combination <laughs> of Bristol, and then occasionally there is the old Tennessee twang yeah. there that kind of creeps in. I slipped in the same things like ta ta y'all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How about you and country music? Have you ever been tempted to do a country song, or is it a bit too? Well, actually, I had an ambition to do a duet with Dolly Parton. Yeah. I really no. 
Don't laugh. Yeah, don't laugh. <laughs> I really wanted to do a duet with her, and actually she phoned me one day while I was in the bath. And um, <laughs> this is a weird story. And she said, she said to me, how there, boy, if you ever want to know where to get some nice wigs, Andrea says, you just call me up, Sam. I'll show you where to get them. Yeah, she did, She's a pretty fierce lady, you know. She's terrific, yes. Oh, no, I'd, I'd love to work with her. That'd be a great duet. I know, it'd be yeah, great. It wouldn't I could, I'd have to fill out a bit, though, wouldn't I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if Freddie Mercury can work with, with Montserrat Caballé, there's absolutely no reason why you can't work with, with Dolly Parton. But, oh, it, I mean, great. country songs are a bit kind of... Macho, aren't they? There's a, they're very. Uh, I don't know if they're, they're macho, but they reflect a kind of real life thing. We're we're into more into fantasy in England, you know, what our pop approach. I, th the I think it'd be quite macho for me to do "Stand by Your Man." <laughs> 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 Or blanket on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You look good in a cowboy hat, don't you? I've got Great. a few. Got Big steps on you. I was, more, I was thinking of you more in the Kenny Rogers song. I mean, the, those are ladies' songs. You can't be singing like Billy Joe Spires and people like that. Why you want not? to be like Why, why ever not, Terry? Why ever yeah, not? No. <laughs> I, I see you as more butch, singing more butch songs. Oh, well, there's optimism then in the world. Stuff like if he. <laughs> the song for him will be if he breaks your heart, I'll break his nose. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because it's the old motto, you see, the bigger you are, the harder you hit. Yeah, they have some great titles. Was that one about, you know, um, kicking Jesus over the goalpost yeah, of life? Yeah, drop kick me Jesus through the goalpost of life. You know? <laughs> what a title. Kind of cute. Yeah. Did Roger. You, did you need to work again when you went to, when you went to Nashville? Had you, you had it made, hadn't you? Why didn't you just find a, a quiet. Key well, two Bahamas divorces then, will make you get up and go out and work again. I suppose they will, yeah. <laughs> Divorce time. in America, let me tell you about it one day. That's a musical. Yeah. Are you rich yeah. enough to retire now? No, not at all. No. But you must have made millions. Yeah, I've got a few, Bob. <laughs> a few, Bob. Well, well, you haven't got enough to retire. Oh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't want to retire anyway, because it's just, I mean, what would I do? You know, breed pigs? <laughs> 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 what about the art of songwriting? Do you think... I mean, without, we can't generalise about things like this, but do you think they're getting better or, or worse or about the same? I think they just change styles, that's all. I think some people, are, I mean, some people are um, clever at copying other songs, because there's a lot of that in the charts at the moment. You hear things, you think, I've heard that before somewhere. I mean, you get a lot of that at the moment, you know. But I yeah. mean, you know, there's some great songwriters. I mean, George Michael's a great songwriter. Will you, will you, would you like your song, obviously you would like your songs to be remembered. In all, in all modesty, honesty, do you think your songs will be remembered in years to come? Or, or is, is our society just going to burn up things like that? I think the best ones will be remembered. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think 20 years down the road, somebody will cut them again, you know, and they'll be remembered. Yeah. You would like to have another go at melting pot, would you? It's the wrong key for me. It is the wrong key. I'm going to do another key. <laughs> You're doing another key. All right. In the meantime, what we'll do is we'll say good night. Thank you all for joining us. And our thanks particularly to Boy George and Roger Cook. Charlton Heston, Roy Kinnear, everybody who joined us, thank you for joining us. Leave us with melting pot, if you will. If we'll you do can. this in C this time. It should be E flat. E flat? <laughs> <laughs> Get away with you. That's technical. <laughs> Take a pinch of white man. Oh, yeah.